my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Happy Easter! They have taken the Lord from the tomb. Peter and the other disciple rushed to the tomb, as they had been told so, and did not find Jesus there. Gospel of John wrote, They did not yet understand the scripture. They did not yet understand. Of course, according to the gospel, they have not been able to understand the reality of resurrection. But I think that was not all. They have not been able to understand their responsibilities as disciples of Jesus. Their responsibilities are to carry on words and deeds of their master once he was taken away from them. It is easy to understand if we say that unshakable words and deeds of Jesus were based on his special personal charisma. We may say because Jesus possessed special power, he could perform miraculous deeds. And we may say that as for ordinary people such as ourselves, it is impossible to imitate words and deeds of Jesus. I think that was how disciples were feeling at the time of death of Jesus. Disciples are disappointed. Probably they were saying, what should we do now without Jesus? But they should have realized that the Master had already left them a command after his departure. Jesus said during the Last Supper after washing the feet of disciples, he said, As I have done for you, you should also do. So what the disciples had to do were continuation of what Jesus was doing and teaching. Their experience of resurrection and personal encounter with risen Lord made them to understand these responsibilities. We are given the same command today as we celebrate this, His resurrection from the dead. If we understand our responsibilities to continue mission of Jesus in today's world, then we may say that is our own experience of resurrection. Holy Father in His message for the World Youth Day this year pointed out as follows. According to the logic of this world, those whom Jesus proclaimed blessed are regarded as useless, losers. What is glorified is success at any cost, affluence, the arrogance of power, and self-affirmation at the expense of others. What we are communicating to this world as the message of gospel are unfortunately not enough to satisfy worldly expectations and common sense of judgment, or worse, sometimes our messages are hated by majority in the society. In such a situation, we feel our powerlessness and tempted to make compromise with the reality. While we make a compromise, uh, saying that the change could be made by someone with special power and not by us, still time just marches on. So one day, we may be taken aback with terrible consequences of our compromise. With deep regret, we may say that this is not the future we hoped for. With deep regret, we may say that we should have said something at that time or we should have stand up with courage to make witnesses based on our faith. But it will be too late to say so. As we celebrate Easter, once again we should listen to the command of our Master. As I have done for you, you should also do. We know He is with us. Let us trust in His presence among us and continue to be courageous witness of the Gospel message today. So Happy Easter and Blessed Easter season.